All right, guys, welcome back. Uh, here we are playing War of the Throne 2. Uh, we're out in the orchard <laughs> today. Um, this is a tournament game. Tournaments were recently added to chess.com. Um, and I don't know, it doesn't necessarily mean too much to me. Um, just playing a good game, a rated game. Uh, this time with a more sensible time control than last uh, last video I made. Um, let's see here. Let's do something. Let's do this and promote. I'm trying to force Red to take some action here. I'm guessing Red's probably just going to support a move like that. Give me a move to promote. Gives me a move to promote and go back, or if red promotes, maybe I'll step up one here. Okay, so I'm going to go here, which forces red to take some action. Um, you know, one of those one of those types of moves. That's what I'm expecting, probably here, so I can recapture and have an isolated king. Okay, so red just steps away. That's fine by me. Um, Let's take a look at who our opponents are. We have a 1700 and 1500 and a 1600. So I'm not expecting uh, the opponents to put up too much of a fight individually, but as a group, uh, they're unpredictable. You know, that's the way 1500 players are. 1600 players, they're unpredictable. Um, they make moves not always in their own best interests. Uh, so, that's what we're doing. Uh, I'm aware that we still have tension here. I'm ignoring it for now. I'm not sure Yellow uh, realizes that he has an advantage of capturing after uh, uh, when Red is going to attack. So, I'm going to allow that to remain for now. I'm going to try and back off to get out of this tension with Red so that I would be able to take advantage of um, of this capture if yellow's ever um, in a position against green. All right, so now I think I'm going to grab here because I'm anticipating this move from green. Red has an undefended king. Green will attack if green knows what, it's, what he's doing. Again, 1500 player, unpredictable, not necessarily acting in his own best interest for every single move. Instead, he'd rather just send nonsense messages in the chat. Okay, well, that, uh, that's fine. You know, I didn't lose anything. It's a king for king capture. Um, again, here, you know, I, I did, I guess, lose two points there. A king for a pawn. Uh, I will eat everything to you, blue. Don't search me. Um, not sure about the translation on that. What is what is red saying? Who knows? Anyone's guess. Much like anyone's guess as to what moves he's going to be playing. Again, so green is just showing that he has no sense at all for what's going on in screen. Yellow, not recapturing, knows just about as much as green, apparently. Now yellow sees that green has, green has an undefended king. Ugh, this game. Alright, so what's the, what's the grand plan here? I think maybe something like this and this for now. Um, the grand plan, maybe I should go for mate on yellow. I don't know. I think at this stage in the game, I should just kind of develop where I can, promote where I can, um, gain some points while keeping material on the board. So, it seems like everyone else is trading pieces. Well, green's not doing too much of trading, more like uh, just giving pieces away. 
but uh, I guess if I want to remain competitive in this game, I need to start accumulating points sometime. Um, so I can't defend this king in his current position, or can I? I could do this, I guess. I'm thinking maybe this... Let's do this. I am right now preventing yellow from promoting, so I'm going to maintain that. Uh, green attacks yellow, so I have an opportunity to attack yellow. Although, I could get attacked myself, especially, I don't know, this seems like some sort of threat to me. So, um, not a great situation. I think, maybe capturing here. Or, let's try this one on for size. Let's back off. Red might promote, but uh, we'll see how that develops. Maybe red's just simply making make a move towards the center. That's okay with me at this stage in the game. Okay. Um, what now? Maybe here and promote. I think I like that. Let's lend some additional support in case there's a capture. I can recapture with a promotion. It's always a good idea. So I am holding up this promotion here, but also yellow is, in a sense, preventing this promotion. Um, let's maybe make some room for some promotions on the middle two files. If we look at development, green is... Uh, well, green's going to lose. Yellow has one, two, plus four, six pawns yet to promote. I have one, two, three, four, five yet to promote. Red is sitting there with six of his own. Um, I'm just kind of playing some, some sensible moves, developing, promoting. The battle here really hasn't begun. I mean, there have been kind of skirmishes, as I like to say. Uh, but there hasn't been too much of a bloodbath just yet. I'm expecting it, though. Um, let's do that. Maybe something like this, and then promote. Yellow might be moving in on green. Um, let's go here first. Yeah, so green will be done shortly, it seems. Um, this is a useful move. I'm going to need to do this promotion in two steps anyway. Okay, so now I'm going to take here on yellow. Um, Green isn't in a position, position to defend against me, and it doesn't look like he has any interest in doing so, but maybe yellow would be too eager to promote there. Um, now might be an opportunity to promote here. And head for the center. Red looks like he's ready to capitalize on the center. Capitalize on the void in the center, that is. Um, I don't know. A move like this would prevent yellow from getting more than one king in the center. But I'm okay allowing yellow. I'm not in a position here to add more support to this king. So, you know, there has to be opposition to red in the center, 
I'd rather that be yellow. Um, also, it makes sense for me to not have to spend my kings defending the center. Uh, okay. So, yeah, so that's what I was hoping. I was going to go in there. Let's distract red a little bit. And we're at the stage of the game now that um, it's not so much about preserving material, but rather um, getting a position that you can that you, you can win the game with. And that's what I'm trying to do here. Trying to push against red a little bit, give yellow some time to move in. I'm hoping to see a move like that. Um, this is a useful move. I might be able to move into the center at some point. And I can definitely maintain that position. Adding additional support from my queen side. Okay, yep, that's the move I was hoping to see. Maybe a defense there. Okay, let's let's just add some additional support here. I doubt yellow would be able to successfully take the center uh, via this route. But maybe I'm speaking too too soon. We'll have to wait and see. Alright, red looks like he's not going to give too much resistance on his queen side, so I can continue to uh, mobilize my forces this way on the board. Um, not really looking forward to that move. But I could go here and maybe at some point add some support in that way. Yellow has other plans. Okay, very sensible move. Uh, I have to capture there. There's no, no other option. Which means there are no entry points for me to the center. Um, let's just back up and promote. Make our last promotion there. Yellow has... I don't know. If I had this position, if I had yellow's position, I would be quite pleased at this stage of the game. But simply having a good position is not a win. All right. I'm going to back up when red promotes there, indicate to red that I have no intention of fighting him. I'd rather he just uh, defends the middle. Otherwise, I'm looking at either second or third place. Um, I guess now it's time to just kind of uh, distract yellow. That's an interesting move. Is yellow really that unconcerned with anything else that's happening on the board? I mean, giving a check does not ever seem like a bad idea. Red's now adding some defense over here, which seems kind of silly. I mean, wouldn't it be faster just to add some support in the middle? Look like that. Huh. Here, red goes there. I guess red's going to allow yellow to go there first. I don't know. Seems kind of silly. Okay, so if yellow goes here, there's a check. Yellow is, however, ignoring the fact that he can't get to the center right now. Now, if red captures, then yellow has a route to the center, but red smartly avoids the capture, 
throw in some material here. Um, this seems logical. Um, and now point-wise at least, I'm in second place. We'll have to see whether or not yellow can make it into the into the center. Um, red should probably back off. I'll move like that. Uh, allows yellow to go here. Um, but he doesn't. Now if yellow went here, of course, red would just support, ideally. But, then again, with red supporting there, um, let's take away some of yellow center kings, I guess. Um, which one? It doesn't matter too much. Uh, I guess red is indicating that this one would be a better, better idea. I'm fine with that. Let's maybe do what? Go over here and maybe get a checkmate on yellow. I'm expecting this. Um, I should probably make a move like that. But, Red seems to be playing his own game here. Okay, good. I should probably go here so I can support some sort of attack in the center. Yellow's not in danger of uh, winning just yet. Now I'll move like this, we'll probably see that. Or maybe even just back up. Um, is there anything much to do? So here I have mate. Uh, thus putting me at, what, 83 points? I should be able to get at least another two points from red before the game's over. That would be second point, or sorry, second place, um, giving the game to red. But second place wins points. Is there any, any hope for me in the center? Maybe, maybe. I don't want to give up just yet. Something like this, if red's going to let me. These two kings are disconnected. I should be able to maintain that enough to get a king in, get a second king to the middle. This. I don't know, this might, uh, this might not be over just yet. I like this setup in the center. I mean, red could add some support. That'd be kind of the easy way to do it. But if he's going to let me, I'll add support too. What happened here? Auto claim. Did I just... Huh. You don't say. <laughs> well, I guess that's uh, that's how math works, right? So, <laughs> an unexpected win for me. Interestingly, in case anyone's wondering, here are the tournament standings. I'm currently in first place there. Um, played four games. I think I got uh, second place in two of them, and that one just now gives me eight points total. So, yeah, I like where where we are here. 
anyway, thanks for watching uh, this week's video. Not saying it's a weekly thing, but uh, you know, I'm having fun. I'm playing on uh, chess.com pretty much every day, four player chess. So join and uh, challenge me, add a friend request, do what you want. Thanks for watching. Um, and uh, hopefully, we'll see you at some point in the future.